Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, VLP Network. First and foremost, allow me to introduce myself and give you a little info on who I am and what my background is. My name is Holland, I'm a military veteran as well as a former executive protection agent, security specialist, and I am a martial artist. A little bit about my military background, I served six years in the United States Marine Corps where I deployed one time overseas in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. I was deployed to the Helmand province of Afghanistan. When I came back, I began work down in Southern California in Los Angeles as an executive protection agent, basically just a fancy term for a bodyguard and I was working with everyone from Fortune 500 CEOs to celebrities, VIPs, and generally anybody that needed protection in their daily life because of who they were or the platform that they stood on. While working down there as an executive protection agent, I also got a secondary job working as a professional instructor at the only accredited security academy in the nation. I was an instructor for not only uh, combatives but firearms. non-lethal countermeasures, executive protection tactics, uh, and everything in between. Finally, I have been a competitive martial artist since the age of 10. I've competed for three separate gyms. First, I started competing in Tung Sudo, and I competed in that for about six years. After that, I started competing in amateur MMA. Come on, baby. Oh! Yeah! 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 Way to go, Helen! Amateur boxing and amateur Muay Thai. I fought all over the East Coast and I've also competed in both judo and submission wrestling. I currently hold three black belt certifications, one in Tung Sudo, one in Kempo, and a black belt in NICMAP, which stands for the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. I also hold purple belt ranking at this current time in both judo and jiu-jitsu. I'm gonna continue my training in that and hopefully eventually become a black belt in those as well because martial arts is one of my many passions. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not running down my list of accolades so that way I can pump myself up or make myself out to be something I'm not. The reason I'm doing that so that way you guys have an understanding where my expertise come, is coming from so that way when I put out videos you have a better idea of, again, where my expertise is coming from. I don't pretend to know every single thing and every single nuance there is to know about tactics or anything like that, uh, but I do consider myself fairly knowledgeable on the things that I'm talking about. So now that I've introduced myself and what I'm all about and my experience, what is this channel all about? Well, the short answer is preparation, but preparation can mean many, many things. When you hear the term prepper, I'm sure you think in the back of your head, the stereotypical individual who's hoarded supplies and has a gigantic nuclear fallout shelter built into his backyard. And for the most part, you're actually kind of right. That is generally what the term preparation is all about or the term prepper means, but I view prepping a little bit differently. As the state of the world has no doubt shown, things can go very, very wrong very, very quickly. And if you are not prepared, then you're gonna be left behind in the dust when everyone else is coming out ahead. Now that doesn't just mean grandiose scenarios like an end of the world, or as I've heard preppers refer to it as, a shit hits the fan type of scenario. People who are preparing often think about those types of scenarios and want to prepare only for those types of scenarios. And while yes, it's important to prepare for those grandiose scenarios because they are the worst possible scenarios that can happen, what I tend to find is that people usually generally don't think about just their everyday lives and being prepared as an everyday thing. In all actuality, those gigantic events are actually pretty uncommon even though we just managed to live through one, like the coronavirus epidemic, things like that don't usually happen. In fact, I think what you'll find after doing a lot of research or just by having personal life experience, the things that happen usually happen in just everyday life. Things as simple as going out to the movies with your family, going out to dinner, picking up groceries after work, picking up your kids. These are all scenarios where people have had really, really bad things happen to them and didn't know what to do. Well, that is where my channel comes into play. As not only a professional martial arts instructor, but a professional security instructor, I've come across plenty of individuals who have told me time and again that they had situations happen to them, and when it happened, the, one of the first things that they thought was, I don't know why this is happening to me, this can't be happening to me, what did I do wrong? My goal on this channel is to help not only spread awareness, but also spread knowledge. I'm an instructor, it's what I like to do. I enjoy teaching students, and I enjoy spreading knowledge, as well as also receiving and trading knowledge. So if there is somebody that I can help by giving out the information that I have or the tactics that I've learned or the tactics that I've used in my personal life experiences as not, not only a military member but also as a bodyguard and just as a person, 
uh, I would like to do that. And that's what this channel is all about. So even if you are a seasoned prepper or if you're someone who's relatively new to preparation, I welcome you to my channel. I hope that the knowledge that I have and the knowledge that I pass on can help in some way, shape, or form. If you like what you just saw and heard, well, you know what to do and you know what to click. I hopefully will see you guys next time. And as always, victory loves preparation. Be prepared and be safe out there.